Welcome back to Character Select. David Kenneth is back for more Metroid Fusion. Metroid Fusion. Oh. That's a zoom block. Oh, it wants you to go in the lightning water. Alright, so we are trying to find and destroy Ceres because it's causing a lot of damage to the aqua sector. Oh god. A great big water monster is thrashing around a lot. And for some reason, the SAX let it out. Yes. And while we are trying to figure that out, we are heroes, and heroes are reactive. Come on. No, you have to come at it from another, another angle. Okay. No. Damn it. Missile. Missile wall. Bang, bang, bang. That's fine. Yeah. Eat. Wait, there's another item up there. Yeah. There. Stop it. Yeah, see, look at the map. Yeah, there's a way up. There's a drop down or an up way. There it is. Oh, hey, look. So yeah, whenever there's a circle on the map, it means there's an item there, oh, and if it's a I dot, it means mean. that you grabbed it. However, I, I can't remember if this is the game where they did away with uh, multiple items on the same map section, or if that was Metroid Zero Mission. Ooh. Um, because in, in Super Metroid, they only have the dots, not the circles. Uh, but it a dot on the map can indicate that there's an item there, or it can indicate two or three items, and you won't know. Ugh. Yeah, a, that sounds annoying. It's very frustrating. Okay. Nope. This is just a drop down, I think. Oh god, that was a mistake. I forget... <laughs> I spent three episodes talking about how damaging all the enemies in this game are, and then I immediately am like, I'm just gonna tank this shit. Yeah. Alright, let's try to avoid the water, since water is not good for us. No, you sink in water. Also, that water is light, is, is hurty water. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, it's hurty water! Okay, Ow. we're in trouble now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you are not doing so good hot now. No, I'm having trubs. Oh god, what? Huh. All right. Guess this is a dead end. For now. Huh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Thank you. You need so, to get a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, I know. So yeah, they they really do they really did design this game properly because while yes, you do get energy from literally every enemy you kill. Conversely, every enemy you kill does a lot of damage to you. So you yeah. need that energy. Mm -hmm. And that's called good game design, kids. Oh fuck. Damn it. Well, you do have lots of missiles, so it's whatever. Oh, thank God a save room. Okay. Huh. So yeah, 
the AI told me to fucking conserve ammo as I get, or conserve energy as I go, and I was foolhardy and didn't listen. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's actually okay though because every boss room. Ooh, hello. Ooh, hey, what do you know? Just Worth what it. you needed. Uh, every boss room also has a uh, the eyeball door. Which, when you kill it, drops a red X that gives you missiles and I think one energy tank of energy. Ooh, well that's nice. There's very few instances where you're going to be in trouble. Huh. Okay. Hmm. So I've got to come at it from the... The... The, the up? No. Can't be from the up. Hmm. Ow. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, Do I have to go this way? Uh, maybe. Are they really gonna force me into a hell run? That's interesting. I'm not sure. I would think not. Wait. There we go. Oh. Okay, we're good. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, the detour did give us a chance to get the, uh, energy, energy tank, tank, so totally worth Hey, never say, never say no to an energy tank. <laughs> yeah, if you ever look at an energy tank and say, nah, I don't need it, you're wrong. You absolutely need it. Alright, can't go that way Okay, yet. well, fine then. Gonna have to be up here somewhere. Oh, hey. God damn it. This slow moving, spiky boy hurt you a lot. It may be slow, but those spikes can cut through steel. Oh, come here. See, they're still trying to. See, now it's running away because it knows I they're... can eat it. They're sort of like, they're not, they seem to be unsure about A little you. bit, yeah. It's like, wait, why has she not been infected by the by the rest of us yet? Alright, we're good, we're on track. Imagine getting all this way and not realizing that you just need to go like that. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
super hate this fire. It's gonna come up. You can... Hey. Oh, you could hang from the ceiling, you know. I would, yeah. Got him. Yeah. Fight's not over until the Corex is dead. And yes, I have died to the Corex before. I like how the Corex has like a cell wall around it, and that's what's kill that's what's hurting you. Yeah. You can also shoot them to make them shoot out a bunch of X parasites that you can absorb if you need it. Ah, so, speed it's, boost. It's specifically so that you can uh, get missiles, because only missiles will hurt it. Yeah. Alright, so we got speed boost. Speed! And unlike previous Metroid games... It's, it's, there's no button, or unlike Super Metroid, I should say, and like all later Metroid games, um, you cannot choose when to activate it. It's just, have you run far enough? Yes, you are now boosting. Yeah, Shine well, Spark is kind of finicky in this game. Uh, it's, I actually find it a bit easier than the other Shine Sparks. Okay, we're good. Let's just drop down. Oh, my dinner is ready. Hooray! Hey, Next what if... One. You what? What? I said dinner's ready. Dinner is ready! Good. What's on the menu tonight, Kina? Leftovers. Delicious. I mean, they're good leftovers, so yay. Uh, I actually am not usually a fan of leftovers, so if I have leftovers, it usually is because it's something that I really like. Hey, you know what we could do now? What? Go to that pump room. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Water level has been lowered. Yay! Please transfer all the water into storage tanks. Thank you. Well, presumably the reason that it, uh, all the water was like that was because somebody ruptured the tanks, Saris, Saris X, whatever, and also um, turned off the pump. Which is just rude when you think about it. A little bit. Hmm, I wonder. Nope, nope. Okay. The good news is the Shine Spark in this game does not consume energy to use it. Yeah, that's nice. Did it do that before? I don't remember. Uh, it does in Super Metroid. Uh, and then they realized that was an actually not really conducive to using the Shine Spark, so they no. stripped it out. Yeah. Hey, look, we can go down here now. Excellent. wonder if this still has the bomb thing. Nope. Okay. In Super Metroid, if you have a charge beam active and you go into a ball... Yeah. Then you drop five bombs immediately. Oh, huh, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah! Whoop. There's something in here that I need. Yeah, the missiles! Damn right, missiles. I ain't gonna pass up the chance to get more missiles when they're literally my only weapon against the dark.
right, so we can go down here now. Oh, we need power bombs. Power bombs. Pear bones. Uh, this is also the game, because remember, the only other Metroid game before this was uh, Super Metroid. Uh, that had power bombs anyway. So this is the the game. Well, where they established exactly how powerful power bombs are. They're which very is, powerful. Which is to say, you should probably shouldn't use them around people. Oh, hey, water level is lowered here. They're like detonating a small nuclear device. From what I understand, it's not necessarily the bomb itself or the explosion that causes a problem, but rather the, um... Why am I going this way? I need to go back to the navigation room. Uh, but rather the, uh, the pressure wave and the heat. The pressure wave will will crush so a almost a thermobaric explosion. Yeah, the pressure wave will crush almost anything, and anything that does survive will be vaporized, <laughs> or so they say. All right, what's the deal, Adam? So, Sarah has been infected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you'll be able to face Sax. You'll be... You may be able to face the, Sa the SAX yet. I'm right in the nads, you can have this. <laughs> but that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time it's a missile upgrade. You desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless ne it's necessary. Also, the route to data room in Sector 2 is blocked by still more SAX activity. I note a deliberate activity pattern as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Sam, so it looks like your best option is to download is in Sector 3, PYR. You'll find the PYR data room on your map after using the navigation room there. Now, head for Sector 3. Alright. PYR, hmm, I, can, I wonder what this run's going to be. It's probably fine. I wonder what this simulated environment could possibly be. Alright, do we have any Samus thoughts today? Nope. No. Maybe when she goes into the uh, other area, probably. That's when they tend to happen. No, it's always the next elevator ride. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom! Yeah! P-Y-R, and it's red. This is totally fine. Definitely okay. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to download it, you must find the security room here and activate the level 2 hatches. This may allow SAX and X parasites into the area, but we are left with no choice. Your recovery is our main goal. The data room here is here. As I explained, security rooms can't be shown on the map. Be careful, Samus. You will see very violent organisms here. And avoid the ultra-heated areas. Your suit can't take such high temperatures yet, oh, but we're working on it. Level 2 hatches are green. Release the data lock. Release the lock and proceed to the data room for download. Super Missile Data is ready. Your firepower will triple. First, activate the green hatches, then go to the data room. There are two ultra-heated areas on There are this no route, so ultra-heated areas. There are no ultra-heated areas on this route, so turn back if you enter one. All right. Super Missile Data, I do like the sound of that. Super missile device. Alright. So. 
it can't be that way because I can't get up there. Oh god. That's not that way. <laughs> uh, Is it this way? Oh, uh, oh, empty room, weird. I didn't get my zoom shoes on. Ta da! Oh. Sure, it looks like I should be able to do something here. Maybe. <coughs> oh. Oh. You have to jump. Oh. Ooh. There we go. Well, that was weird. Good enough. Welcome to the security room. Why can't... Why, why did they design it like this? Why does the security room just either an on or off? Why is it why, why is it that it just can't give Samus clearance? Oh, there's the X. I don't know. Violent, very violent organisms, yes. I mean, from what we've seen of the Metroid universe, there's very little that Samus can't overcome, either through firepower or... AI hacking abilities, so who knows? Cool. I'm not seeing any of these very dangerous organisms here, Adam. Jesus. <laughs> oh god. What was that? Come on. There we go. That thing's on fire. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. There is something missing. Perhaps it's behind that creature's head, that head creature. Haha, -ha, oh, good hi. call. Give me your souls. All right. And we're moving. Oh god, don't eat me. Uh oh. Don't eat, don't bite my butt. Bite Looks my like butt. somebody has been here. I wonder who. Hey! Missiles! Free missiles. I forgot that you could do that in this game. <laughs> so freaking ridiculous. I have bypassed your weird biological security. Uh -oh. Weird slimy security system. You can't stow. Oh god, it's so it's, hot out here. It's very hot, but not super hot. Yeah, it's super heated. It's it's the American West Coast. It's Death Valley in here, Yeah, it's not, yeah, it, it's you know, not the surface of the sun. It's not inside of a lava tube. It's fine. Yeah. 
do, do, do. Hey, the data room. This is the best upgrade in the game. You know why? Because super missiles go big kaboom. The super missiles go big kaboom, and they just replace your missiles. You don't really? have to switch to them. You just have super missiles. It's just all your missiles are super missiles. Yes. That's also, pretty cool. Something big exploded and it's making me worried. So next time on Character Select, we'll go investigate what that was. But thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you like the name Kanathis. Yeah, yeah. Super, super missiles. missiles.